welcome to Jay is for Justice podcast. If live breaking news and following true crime is your thing, then please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like what you see in my videos, please consider giving them a thumbs up. Yo, good evening, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back to Jay is for Justice. I am your host, Jay, and I'm talking a lot more silently tonight. Some of you are probably like, thank the good Lord. Thank you guys for joining. I'm only in one ear. Okay, let me fix that really quick. Um... How about now? Scott H. How are you, Scott? Sorry, I had to... No, I'm definitely not sick. I'm definitely just fine. Um, I sound like I'm in a tin can. How about now? Let's all get this situated. Just Samantha. I think he said it. He didn't think it was her is what. He told us. <clears throat> um, it shows headphones because you're watching a podcast. The same reason it shows a microphone. So am I in the right and left earbud? Can someone let me know? All right, well, it is what it is at this point, I guess. Okay, so we are not going to do, I'm going to make an example right off the rip. Enchanted Life Path, I don't know you, and I don't know Scott well, but I have had him on panel, so I would appreciate it if you didn't do that again. And I'm not going to say anything more on that, so I hope everyone is having a good evening. Uh, what did you guys think of the stream earlier? Hi, Mystic Firefly. <laughs> I'm getting conflicting answers. Yes, it's working. No, it's not. Hi, happy girl. You guys liked the stream? I mean, did you have any questions? My throat doesn't hurt. My throat doesn't hurt. I'm fine. I do not know. Mm -mm. I don't. Holla. I kind of stay to myself. <laughs> and that's, I create and research. And I don't really have time to know who everyone is. Well, Pearl Strand, you can definitely catch the replay. Okay, thank you, Enchanted. You didn't understand the topic? Well, I 
Hi, Mike Sanner. I implore you to go back and listen again. Please stop talking about the, the ears. I'm done. It is what it is. Hey, Mississippi. Hello, Connie. You guys will have to catch. Hey, squids. You guys are going to catch the replay, yo. What the heck? Yeah, very disturbing. Um, just a little quick recap. Benny Keys did a live. Um, you know the the Summer Wells, Fine Summer Wells spokesman, and he was trying to put doubt in people's minds about the Amber Alert, and it turned into a lot more than that. Mystic Firefly, I don't. I don't know if Cam has been saying anything. Michelle, it's me, I promise. Here, I'll prove it. What's up, Michelle? It's me. It's all me and all of my glory. But don't start rumors, because it is me. What's up, Sam K? Oh, Enchanted Life Path is Carl, the the Scottish gentleman. I feel fine. I really do. Squeezing my cheeks. The Scottish lad, when he was when he was so angry the other day, I mean, I felt his his passion and his frustration for what he was saying and I just I wanted you know how I am though I always want to make a funny and I like wanted to flash like the a lucky charms box on the screen just to break the tension oh well he sounds Scottish to me I'm not good at accents but um I really wanted to flash the Lucky Charms box, Enchanted. I totally, totally get your your frustration. Aw, April, that's nice. I'll turn it on in a little bit. It's just, I don't know. I feel judged. <laughs> The whole Kumbaya live the other day. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Hey, Dana, you're not late. We've just been BSing. Mystic, why is he trying to do that? Hey, Nicole. He'll probably go live, but... Okay, so we're going to talk about a little something something. Hey, Smoke and Mirrors. Nice name. So we're going to talk about something I came across. And this is from February 19th of 2019. And this is the public hearing for the COPA Local Advisory Council. Not really sure what COPA is. I didn't read into it that deep. So this meeting was held on February 7th of 2019. And it was held at the Tennessee Department of Health in Blountville, Tennessee. Hey, Damien. Much, much love. Okay. Um, that should be plenty big. I mean, hold on. 
Let me see if I can make it bigger. That's not bigger. That's as big as it gets, I think. Hang on. I have no idea how it looks now because I'm in full screen. Is that good? Representing the PASCO in the house. What's up, Pasco? Hello from the Pinellas. Hello. Your Yorkshire. I always think of my Yorkshire Terriers. Okay. That's where they hail from, right? So anyways, the hearing officer is Mr. Jeff Okerman. This was held at the Northeast State Community College in the auditorium. And if you look here, ah, see now full screen messed up my progy. Okay, hopefully you can see this. The statement by Tim Mullen is on page 30. And we're going to read that. We're going to read that. And you might think, Jay, are you kidding me? You found some stupid ass meeting in Tennessee. And you think it's relevant? Well, you guys be the judge. I'm going to read his statement. And in natural J fashion, I'm going to role play. Cotton candy boobs in the house. Okay, podcast daddy, you are playing judge tonight. Okay, let's fast forward to page 30. Uh, let's go up here. Okay. <clears throat> what up, Andrew? Okay, so here we have Hearing Officer Ackerman. He says, thank you, number 10, Tim Mullen. So Tim Mullen has been summoned to the floor. I, no, I can't make it any bigger. Dude, it's huge. I mean, it's almost my whole screen. This is from February 7th, 2019. Tim Bullen, I've got my own timer. Ready? I need your all's help. I'm very weak on voice right now. This was totally fitting for tonight, was it not? Because I'm very weak on voice right now, too. Hearing Officer Ackerman. Go. Tim says, this is Homeland Security Trauma System. Excuse me? Your name, please, sir? I'm sorry. Tim Mullen. M-U-L-L-E-N. Thank you. Homeland Security Trauma System, our current one. The level one, two, three, four, and five medical trauma system in Tennessee was set up nearly 30 years ago. 9-11 happened in 2001. Terrorism technology has advanced since then up to 18 years. In Tennessee, we have the Memphis, Nashville, Chattanooga, Knoxville, Northeast Tennessee level ones that are all well-structured, solid trauma systems for homeland security terrorism. Each has an infrastructure. Now this is where it gets serious. This is where it gets serious. Each has an infrastructure of well-planned highways, 
interstates, and transportation needs medical for worst case scenario. Northeast Tennessee was built specifically as it is currently for trauma. To split it into a level one north of 81 completely makes us vulnerable. We're already marked as a homeland security terrorist target. Having a Fortune 300 international chemical plant, military explosive plants, to lower us below two goes against all Homeland Security protocol for develop, developing a trauma security grid in the United States of America. If our trauma system is neutered, we north of 91, which is approximately 400,000 citizens, have only one way to get to Johnson City. It's air or ground. If we have bad weather that stops the helicopters, we have one interstate. That's all. One interstate. If we have, if it's blocked, we have nothing else. The other cities have a multiple grid like we do now. So I think their infrastructure was going to be like leveled down. And this dude went to this meeting to make this statement. Someone block Katie, Kitty, if you haven't already. Katie. Eight. If I was a terrorist, I'd make my move in town. I'd block out I-26, and if I was lucky, we would have bad weather, and I would sit back and watch the chaos. This is the real world. We have school shootings, mass stabbings, hand grenade, church attacks. You can buy a $300 drone, load it with dynamite, load it with gasoline, or a bag of anthrax if you're that good. Put it over a high school stadium. Stick it over Fun Fest. Fly it over NASCAR. It cannot be handled by a neutered trauma system. The people, as the newspaper today, they are wild. They are wild. Level three does not have the tools, does not have the equipment, nor the doctor. One vicious school shooting, and we're a blood-dead vulnerables. How many times have we heard cities saying, we just weren't prepared for this? Northeast Tennessee right now is very much prepared and gaining in that. However, if they pull our levels below two, we're terrorist bait. We won't need hospitals. We'll need cemeteries. Even Las Vegas did not have enough trauma centers. Is there anyone here? Or let me just ask you, does anyone here want to give up our Homeland Security trauma system? Audience members say no. Thank you. A quote from our United States National Library of Medicine. Preparing our hospitals and our healthcare facilities for disaster is a national security priority. I plead with you, each of you, and I thank the council, by the way, the advisory council. I plead with our governor, Governor Bill Lee, and I personally 
ask our United States president, President Donald J. Trump, to somehow, some way, come up with a solution where we will not lose our homeland security trauma system. To be neutered will be a disadvantage to the public. Thank you. What do you get from that? You think Tim Mullen's worried about a terrorist attack? You think he's worried about one way in and one way out? Of course it's political, Ann. I just said it was. If you listen to the content, you wouldn't be asking. You have to listen. It most definitely is a political meeting. I can't help where he went, but I can't change his words. Sure, I'll send you guys the link. Hold on one second, let me grab it. Um... He's exactly, Blonde Fox, I wish I could use a, a buzzer, like, come on down. You are the smartest one in chat. Why is this of interest to him personally? She just said it for you. Should I read it again? Shall I read it again? While I eat my tea and crumpets? No, I will show you where he went to read this. I don't know where the money came from. I, I don't know anything about their trauma system and... I'm, I don't know anything about the Tennessee freaking local advisory council at the Tennessee Department of Health at the Northeast State Community College Center for the Arts Auditorium. But this took place on February 7th, 2019. And this dude was worried about the highways. He didn't say anything about ballot health care, though. I don't know. I mean, take it for what it's worth. I'm not telling you what to think. I'm just showing you what I found. But if you're going to be nice, I'll read it again. Without the accent. So you can focus. No fooling around. No fooling around or I will smack your knuckles with a ruler. Do you hear me? Okay. <sighs> and he's sassy from the word jump. He is sassy. I don't know why he's so confident. Um, Nobody said yikes, none your business. Yeah, I don't know much more about him. All I know is what I found on the internet, and it's there. Hang on, let me get you the link. Okay, sorry, I had to find it on my laptop. But here, I'm going to put it in chat right now. 
And, you know, if you guys find anything in, you know, that you think, you know, is weird or whatever, um, feel free to email me. My email is at the bottom of this uh, live here, right at the bottom of the screen. But there's, there's the thing you can... You guys can read for yourselves. And maybe he was worried about health. But nonetheless, he's put himself in the spotlight. So anything that says this that I can find, I'm going to read. He says he is not part of the SDA church. He says he is not from what I understand. Scott H., what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen this? Probably. Are you allowed to be in my chat? <laughs> Are you allowed to say hello? Um, I'm just kidding. What the heck was I just going to pull up? I can't remember now. Damn it. What did I say I was pulling up? Oh, the church thing. That's right. That's right. My bad. Well, um, got to order my dinner too. Um, <laughs> I don't think he's ever said what church he's um affiliated with, but I'll I'll show you what I found. Since he doesn't want to do an interview with me and he wants to be a smart ass on his Facebook, I don't know what else to do. Tim Bones. Nice church site, not secure. But anyways, I'm going to show you in one second when I find it. Hmm. Has he been removed? That was a good drum roll. That was a good drum roll. Okay, well, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> He's been removed. Okay, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you, Enchanted. I don't know. I gave you the link. You guys are going to have to go check it out. It was something about the highways and getting in and out and the level trauma their, their highway infrastructure was. That's what he went. He went to this meeting to sound off. I can't make it make sense. So this is what I was going to show you. Because if you see here. Hold on. This is the Happy Valley Church of Christ in Elizabethton or on Elizabethton Highway in Johnson City. And if you look here, let me see which one you can see the best. Uh, let's do the second one. Okay. You'll see here it's now been removed and I'll show you. 
My dad says brother Tim Mullen. So happy valley. Happy endings. Whatever. Can you guys see that? Hopefully. We move this over here. So it says uh, this Reagan guy, Reagan, Benton, Younce, Larry something, and then brother Tim Mullen. No, this is Happy Valley. Happy Valley, Happy Valley. I couldn't figure out what denomination these guys are. I don't know if they even are one. Strange denomination. So here is their um, site here. And if you notice, he's not here anymore. He's not listed. But we'll go to... Yes, they have a live stream. And then they have all these sermons. I'm sure we could probably find him. I mean, is a brother like, what is a brother? I totally want to find Tim Mullen giving a sermon. Something just is weird. I don't know if he gave sermons. Look, his name's not in any of these. I wouldn't want him to give, give me a sermon either. Oh my God, they keep someone's wedding up here from 2012? Weird. I wonder if Miss... Uh, what's her name? The one that married, um, Candace and Don. Miss Thacker. What's her name? I'm having a, a brain freeze. Yeah, I don't see his name anywhere. Maybe this is too early. Tim, when did you see that? If you would have done an interview, dude, I wouldn't have to do this. I could have asked you all of these questions. Let's go to 2019. And you guys are free to um, scan this. I will actually give you the link in chat right now if you guys want to do some digging. What up, checking convictions? Yes, Tim eBay. Tim eBay Mullins. He was a big YouTube seller. But I'm not seeing that he is even on here. But if they removed him, they may have removed. He asked totally from here. I don't know. Because he was listed as a brother. I showed you that, but I'm not going to go through this entire um, website. But I just wanted to show you this is his, he was affiliated with this. Because see, he's not here anymore. Mm -mm. He um, Either that or they took him off the site for his own protection while he's being an advocate. While he's being a victim's advocate. But wait, there's more. There's not one, but four PayPal's. One for ties, one for offerings, one for missions, and one for the building fund. Whoop, whoop. Now, let me just show you this. Their pastor is... Something else. He really gives Pastor Dave a run for his money. 
But really what I'm curious about, I wonder what this church did when Summerwells went missing. I mean, if the highways are a big deal, certainly a five-year-old missing girl is a big deal. I mean, just saying. I would think anyways. So let's go back and hope that they at least said a prayer for her. Because I'm just starting to lose faith in all of this stuff, man. <laughs> Not that I'm going to pass judgment and all that shit. Don't get all crazy. But I don't know. They have, they have church every day. Wednesdays and Saturday, Sundays. Um, this is Brother Donnie Lincoln. See, Tim's in kind of a nicer church, right? Than the Wells. He's an old time. He's never failed us, saints. Request, request for the Lord tonight for us. Want to please remember. So what is the oh, church? It's not something man. that you join. This is their main squeeze right here. He comes in at the end. He was getting his hair done during the first part. Come back himself in the form of the Holy Ghost and live in that speck of his dominion in every heart. He can be in the hearts of every child of God right here tonight. He can be in Louisiana. He can be in Australia. He can be in New Zealand. He can be around the world. And the king himself, not a judge, not a mayor, not a lawyer, but the king himself living in every one of our souls, dominating our lives, ruling our lives, being the Messiah of over his empire. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. In other words, where the Messiah rules in every life in his dominion. That's why I say that we are individually baptized collectively into the body. Now you're familiar, you know that that's a quote. Notice he said, ruling the Lord and withstand. Uh, he gets more worked up. And then what happened to this man? My, he was carried up in the presence of God. And the Spirit of God carried him away. So he opened his mouth, the Bible says, at the same scripture, breathe, preached unto breathe, him Jesus breathe. in verse 40. But Philip, but Philip <laughs> was found. New sound bite. At Azotus. Praise God, the Spirit of God gave this man a private translation. Amen. <laughs> And set him down maybe on the outside of Azotus, and he was found hey, at Azotus. Hey, Dra. Um, yeah, so this is uh this is uh the church that Tim Mullen was affiliated with. I gave you guys the link. Uh don't know if you'd want to check it out. Up to you. But um we're gonna watch some healing and some shit. Because they get into that shit at the end here. That is what I want to do. I found Jose. I spy Jose in someone's belly. Um, yeah, this, <laughs> this is, um, 
Happy Valley, Happy Valley Church in Johnsonville, TN. So I don't know if they're Baptist or what. Not sure. Yeah, I mean, Southern Baptists, I think, are the ones that preach like that, like run out of breath and stuff. So, um, anyways, I don't know anything about this church. I just wanted to share with you guys where uh, this Tim character was affiliated. And, I mean, it's not surprising. Because let's face it, there's a church like every 500 feet. Channel 11? What is, is that on YouTube? Is that on Facebook? Thank you for becoming a member. Ah, Art for Life. Hey, what was your name? Art for Life Forensic Artist. <laughs> Interesting profession. A forensic artist. Yeah, I'm not here to down anyone's religion. I don't care what they, how they, how they praise or what they praise. Um, I'm just showing you guys what I have found. <laughs> yeah, little obvious. Stop screaming, sir. Yeah, I'm not I don't I don't care how they praise. I'm just showing you. Church potatoes. I have looked up feet fables. I saw it. Is she very good, Scott H? Who said that? Scott Skulls? I have too many Scots in my life. Okay, Scott H. said she's very good. And... Someone else said something and it went away. Ah! Uh -uh. Churchill Rescue WJHL. All right, let's see what rumors they had to dispel. WJHL. I think it's something about the reward, right? New Tennessee law requires domestic violence training for salon workers. Oops. Thank you, whoever mentioned this. Look at these trending stories over here. Hawkins County authorities arrest two after finding 200 grams of meth in the car. I don't think these guys aren't doing their job. I really, I really don't believe that at all. How interesting that as soon as Benny Keys did a live this morning, pretty much saying the Amber Alert's bullshit, this was no update from the Churchill Rescue Squad, just that the 
award, the reward went up or whatever. But the Amber Alert, Benny, is still active. And whoever that chick was on your damn podcast with you today, yes, sirring you on every stupid damn comment you made about the Amber Alert system, telling people that they shouldn't take it serious because a potential a potential abductor might be misnamed. With our we need to shut up Benny. Um, uh, soundbite. But hopefully he'll be shut up soon. Enough is enough. Games. Rescue Squad announced the reward fund for missing five-year-old Summer Wells of Hawkins County is now nearly $74,000. Those wishing to donate to the reward fund can do so directly at Civis Bank branches in Churchill, Rogersville, and Sneedville, or by mailing a check to the Churchill Rescue Squad. Wells disappeared from her home in the Beach Creek area back in June. The Amber Alert for Summer Wells remains active. If you have any credible information that can help investigators, call the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation at one 800 TBI find. This is your home. This is your family room. Betty Keys wants you to dismiss that. Why? It bothers me. Okay, here is um that article that I was just showing you guys. I don't know, Nan. I, I haven't kept track of it. Here's the meth bust. The traffic stop on Highway 66 South led to the arrest of two people after they found large amounts of various drugs in the vehicle. Christy Jean Givens and Bruce Edward Fontecchio the second. So don't think that the Hawkins County Sheriff doesn't want to find Summer Wells. They're not going to protect Don Wells and Candace Wells if they're not going to protect these scumbags. I just don't believe it. But I really wish that Benny Keys would stop his propaganda campaign and get a conscience. Is that possible? You know, and I gave the guy a benef the benefit of the doubt, but I mean, now we have um, this person who wants you to believe she's this prim and proper English woman, and she's going to stand by in a chat while Benny calls women whores, bitches, and skanks. And there's women on his panel that are yesing this behavior and in his chat with wrenches that are yesing this behavior? Why? You have to ask yourself why. Because Summer is still missing, right? Does he talk about Summer or does he try to deflect? He doesn't want to talk about Summer. What happened to Tim Mullins' rules that every YouTube cast had to have Summer's picture throughout it? How come that rule doesn't apply for Benny Keys, who's supposed to want Summer home? They pointed fingers at everyone. Everyone. Hold on and I'll slow chat. 
<clears throat> lip locked. I've been asking myself why on several levels about several people. Yeah, he talks about not being monetized, drops the cash app. Um, AF Pennington has, you know, a cash app, a PayPal, a Patreon, a, a whatever. I mean, he's calling women those names. Look at this. Kara B. Kara B is here with her fake picture to defend him. He's not calling all women those names. That makes it okay. Kara, go back to Katie and get another profile pic. I haven't seen any requests. I think if you want to re if you want to donate towards the reward you can um, donate to the Civis Bank or I think to, directly to the Churchill Rescue Squad. Mary Jane, I wish I could tell you. I mean, you're going to defend. He doesn't call all women that. Um, if a man calls any woman that, he's a piece of shit. If that's what you, you're you used to, I feel really bad for you. you. You deserve better. You deserve much better if that's okay with you. It's damn time that we stood up to the bullies like him who think they can go and call women these names. And you expect me to believe that these churchy women are the ones standing next to him? No, hell no. Hell to the no. Mm -mm. I don't even know TCC. Got nothing to say about her because I don't know her. But I will say, hold on. Okay. Um, in my opinion, sadly for me, I have accepted his mental illness. No, I do not approve of his behavior in any way, shape, or form. I do pray for him. Only Jesus can save his heart. What? If he has a mental illness that you have to accept that that's, that's that serious, perhaps he shouldn't be working a five-year-old little girl's case. Just saying. I don't know, BB. But he's, he's not talking about Summer. I know that. Well, I mean, if you're mentally ill, maybe you shouldn't be involved in a serious case like this. I mean, obviously, he's hindering things because I just showed you guys a clip of the news reiterating reiterating that the Amber Alert is still in effect. Because we had this guy who's the head of the 
Wells Camp telling us they're bullshit. Put a one in chat if you didn't see that today. Put a one in chat if you saw it. Or if you didn't see it, put a two in chat. If you did. Wow, lots of twos. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to play it for the people that missed it earlier. Oh, my gosh. Poor Summer. She truly deserves better than this. 100% better. So um, let's see where we're at here. Let me share my screen. They put out a post about her. Oh, what is she seizing out? Because I mean, I mean, the, the lengths that these people will go to, I don't even care what their post says. I don't care. He does not know. You guys have a lot of theories. All right, let's see. Let's go back. In advance, my voice is rather hoarse. Let me know if the sound is actually of a that bothered me. Sorry, this is from sorry, earlier. So you're watching a replay of my stream from this morning. All right. So we're first off going to watch a little video before we get into. Actually, we don't have to watch this video because protection. Now it is we just actually got an updated one. Everybody asked this morning, when is this from? When is this from? This was from a week after Summer went missing, and they were talking about um, foul play had not been ruled out, um, and then we got the update that the Amber Alert is still in effect. We got that just six hours ago. So I'm going to skip that old article or that old video, and we're going to go right into um, this clip from Benny's this morning. All right, so I'm going to be... Um pausing this as we go so that we can discuss oh and because i one really other want thing. you guys to really i want to thank mr mullins for his intro song um that i was able to conveniently place in this video so props to tim jimmy jimmy it's jimmy and um I just want to preface this too by saying the intro is compliments of the Sandman. Thank you, Sandman, for your talents and sharing them with us. Sharing them with. That was supposed to say for the world or with the world. My bad. Thank you for sharing your talents with the world. Uh... 
sickest I'd known. Heard her up this one night, figured she'd gone on. Beautiful creature took what the preacher had said. In one afternoon, she was healed and about of bed. showing you the critical thinking side the other side of the amber alert okay um, now everyone thinks the amber alerts can do no wrong oh, man. i already have to stop okay you guys are shook from the song <laughs> that is um compliments of tim mullen I just happened to grab a clip and it just fit perfectly with my intro, didn't it? Yikes. So let's start talking about this. So automatically he's talking about the Amber Alert and says, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the other side of the Amber Alert. Put a one in chat if you knew there was an other side of an Amber Alert other than to find a missing child. Put a two in chat if you think Amber Alerts have one side and one side only. The other side of the Amber Alert. This, this dude wants you to doubt the Amber Alert. Why? Let's listen. Um, and I'll, I'm here to tell you, you do their damage, right? Uh, let me show you. For instance, let's take a look at. The, I mean, this is just this is just a for instance. Any any Amber Alert, right? Now, what you've done is you've taken a picture of a child and a potential abductor oh my gosh thank you so much that girl oh my gosh right here exactly exactly mm -mm -mm. this is wrong and everyone needs to see what this dude is trying to infiltrate your minds with being involved in a little five-year-old girl's case. A potential abductor. He cares more about there being a potential alleged abductor than the damn kid. Listen, it gets worse. The issue with this is is that you don't know definitively or not you could never know if that's the abductor now right. the only reason you and who's this ninny that is sitting up on panel don't time people out for asking questions i already said this before the live you guys everyone i want their opinions if it's personal or deflammatory sorry that is from this morning to know this little girl's name and this man's name is if you know these people in real life. You are never going to see this abductor in Walmart and say, hey, D'Angelo. Right. Yeah. What? What is he talking about? What is he talking about? And this is from like eight hours ago. This Amber Alert that he pulled up for an example is a missing child out of Florida. And this guy has a North Dakota tag. That's the abductor. Now, right. 
The only reason you need to know this little girl's name and this man's name is if you know these people in real life. You are never going to see this abductor in Walmart and say, hey, D'Angelo. Right. Yeah. Give me Gene Clark. So he's saying you don't need to pay attention to Amber Alerts. Unless you know them. I'm not looking to get them booted. I'm just showing you what I'm finding. If you don't understand, you're going to have to replay it. What is he talking about? And this is from like eight hours ago. This Amber Alert that he pulled up for an example is a missing child out of Florida. And this guy has a North Dakota tag. That's the abductor. Now, the only reason you need to know this little girl's name and this man's name is if you know these people in real life. You are never going to see this abductor in Walmart and say, hey, D'Angelo. Right. Yeah. Give me Gene Clark back. <laughs> you don't need to know any of this stuff. This what lady laughs. And who is this lady going, <laughs> yeah, and laughing? Shame on you, lady. Or this man has even been taken to to a preliminary examination he has been labeled as the abductor now what happens is you've got people in front of his mom's house in a a preliminary examination what is he effing talking about you have a baby on the screen that this dude took they're not going to put an amber alert out if he didn't take her and what is he talking about? So then he starts saying, oh, well, you could have, you know, you could have um, a mistake. Okay, then you explain it, but you get that baby home. Obviously, this baby is not where it belongs, and Benny Keys doesn't give a shit. Why doesn't Benny Keys care? Why does he want you to question the validity of an Amber Alert. That's my question. This guy is scum. Pond <laughs> scum. He should not want you to question an Amber Alert, but he does. You need to ask yourself why. Is this why? Is this why Benny Keys? AF quote Pennington. This is gross. Florida, and, uh, and, they're, yeah. and they're protesting his dad, and they're they're doing all this crazy stuff, digging into his background. And let me tell you what, Pendar, it could be just as simple as the child's mother didn't like what he had to say to her, or he didn't yeah. bring her back on Sunday exactly when he said he would. But what did he just say? What I think he said. Let's play that again for the people in the back, Benny. As the child's mother didn't like what he had to say to her. Or so he, he wants you to think they put a fucking Amber Alert out because a mother didn't like what the dad had to say. He didn't yeah. bring her back on Sunday exactly when he said he would. Like yeah. this Amber Alert actually sometimes doesn't mean shit. That's now, true. He can stream me all he want. It doesn't make him any less of a scumbag. Scum bag. Here. Look here in the bottom. It's very, 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 very telling. If located, do not approach. Contact law enforcement immediately. <laughs> Why the hell do you need to know his name then? Why does he care? Why are you protecting even a potential abductor? I have an innocent baby right there. About 11 months old. You are disgusting. 
Yeah, exactly. If you're never going to contact and who's this lady? Why do you need to Dumbass. know his name? You would be better off spending the other time in this graphic right here talking about his physical appearance. We can yeah, absolutely talking about instead of talking about his name and who he is and where he's from and where he could be heading, we should be discussing his braids. We can see his fucking looks, Benny. You're not fooling anyone. You're a fucking scum. Braided hair falls to the left. Any tattoos. Yeah, expressive eye. Like you could do a lot of a lot of things in way in the way of, of talking about the abductor. Now, the other thing is the Amber Alerts typically they, they have to meet a standard. And what those standards are, you have to be able to identify the potential abductor, the potential victim, the potential description of vehicle, right? With a tag and usually a direction of travel. Right. In like some well you did not have that. Right. You did not have any of those things. But later on, you had the issue with the red truck. You had all these different things. You had Jody Sue saying that she saw this red vehicle, Dusty, or no clear coat. She saw this man. She needs a um, sketch artist. You have all of these things that point away from every from, from anyone else except for the Wells. It could be anyone else in the world except for the Wells. And for whatever reason, the furthest that we can look for Summer Wells is on that 11.25 corner acre parcel where Ben Hill Road meets, meets Beach Creek. That's right. the only place that they're capable of looking, Pendar, period. I mean, it's just sad. It's so sad. Yep. Well, what? Way, got in my that, I'm Go sorry, ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, you've got people that are accusing the parents who've passed a polygraph. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> and have no charges. Absolutely. And based on what? Based on what? An opinion that they that they believe is factual. It, it is a bunch of mentally ill people who don't. Oh, whoa. Let's talk about the team of mentally ill people. Oh, wait, we'll save that for another day. We'll save the borderline dis, uh, what is it? Borderline personality disorder conversation for another day. We'll stick to the Amber Alert today. Cipher and deduce things well in their own lives. And so when it comes to dealing, and, and, and let me tell you what, these people, Pandar, these people spend so much. Okay, keep in mind, he's referring to the people that have come to Kingsport. But what he's saying really describes him and his team, his little team that believes his bullshit. Decipher and deduce things well in their own lives. And so when it comes to dealing, and, and, and let me tell you what, these people, Pendar, these people spend so much time dealing with Don, Candace, and Summer Wells' life so as they don't have to deal with their own life. That's what I was thinking too. That's what it is. Look at these creators. Creators are what? What do creators create? Well, these creators are creating bullshit. What are you creating? You're wanting people to doubt an Amber Alert when an Amber Alert is in place to protect children. And you want them to doubt it. That's, it speaks volumes, Benny. Speaks volumes. Okay. Um, and, and that's just what it is. Um, none of this is... And they no. like the attention. And I, I was thinking, I think it was talking to Seasons earlier today, and I said, they want the attention because if they didn't have the YouTube or whatever, nobody would talk to them. Nobody would call. Well, I think, lady, whoever you are, that's you. If you didn't have YouTube, no one would talk to you. So you're on Benny Key's panel agreeing with this bullshit, him saying that there could be an Amber Alert because... This guy didn't like what his wife or his girlfriend had to say. You are both losers. To see how the hell they are, you know, nobody would like, care. They're, they're, not even, they're, not even, they're not even extraordinary uh, weirdos. They're just <laughs> extraordinary <laughs> weirdos that nobody, you know, nobody finds them applicable to anything important. And so they have to try to find these seams and these weak points in other people's lives to insert themselves as. He's calling seams and weak points felonies, child abuse charges, SA charges. Those are, those are not seams. Those are gaping fucking holes. Like the holes in Candace's story on June 15th. You know, some, some sort of dominant controlling force. And let me tell you what. Almost living vicariously through, through the people Absolutely. that you're looking at. Absolutely. These people have a macabre um, fascination with other people's pain. 
right? <laughs> it, it, it's like ambulance chasers. Oh, that's creepy. That is creepy. Right? It, 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 it's, it's, no, what's creepy is this. He's speaking about himself. He's the one up on that hill. He's the one spewing this propaganda. He's the one that has a sick obsession with what's going on here. Same thing like um, sexual offenders. Same thing like um, sexual Ooh. offenders. Right? Ooh, nice example. He uses SA as his example. Hmm, interesting example. First thing that came to his mind. Um, once they're on the outside, it's widely known that a lot of them like to listen to, um, you know, to, to different things on social media, videos and things that, you know, de uh, depict um, women giving statements about being abused, right? Um, so Wait, what? It's widely known that sexual abusers come to videos and watch because it gets them off? I, I have to say, I had no idea. I would not know that. <laughs> never heard that. I've heard of like murderers going back to the scene of the crime, but I've never heard someone actually attest that it's widely known that essayers come to videos to hear these proclamations from the women who were abused and get off on the details. Yikes. That's fucking sick, Benny. You need help. No wonder your wife kicked you out, dude. Gross. Like um, sexual offenders. Same thing like um, sexual offenders, right? Um, once they're on the outside, it's widely known that a lot of them like to listen to, um, you know, to, to different things on social media, videos and things that, you know, de uh, depict um, women giving statements about being abused, right? Um, certain yeah. sorts of men offenders <laughs> will come here just, just to hear despicable details about what people think happened to a child, right? Right, um, yeah. And that's oh, what you're it's returning to the scene of a crime, sort of. It's oh, this lady, you're so smart. Whatever your name is, it's it is. It's like uh, it's like in Chicago where they have the you know the mafia. Um, you know the mafia. He's comparing what? How did this go from SAers to a mafia size organization? Wait a minute. He just talked about SAers and then compared them to the mafia. What's the SAers version of a mafia? Kill tour or whatever. It's people with a macabre fascination for death and they want to see where it happened and they want to try to feel the vibe. And, and that's what you're seeing with all these, you know, these, these sort of copycat frequent flyers to the hill they all have a macabre fascination and they they just want to feel what what pain what, what this level of pain feels like Pendar. and i think uh, well i thought for a long time people who are miserable want to make others miserable absolutely so that they, they can share that absolutely it, it, it's sort of it's sort of the same science behind cutting right it's like you mean to tell me hurting yourself physically is okay so i literally stopped there because I thought that was enough. You can go listen to the rest of this garbage if you want on his channel. But he starts comparing it to cutting, mafia, assayers. He's defending potential abductors. I, I, I don't know. But Dana Helms, over 602 children have been home brought home safe due to the Amber Alert system. Hey, Lips. Okay, I'm going to stop that there. So you guys can watch the whole video. Um, I'm actually going to give you the link. If you would like to watch this on your own. Because we went on to discuss um, some more after that. So here is your link. My audio changed. I have no idea. Um, yeah, I need to rest my voice 
He's all over the place. If I was him, I'd be careful stating those things. Yeah, S.A. is exactly what Katie just said in chat. WTF is S.A. Yeah, it was playing my earlier live. Thank you, Pearl Strand. Hot tea and lemon. Oh, Heather. Okay, so um, there is the link to that video. And then here is another link. And this is to, I'm going to show you guys this first. Thank you. Checking convictions. More to come, more to come for sure. I am actually, I have to do, yeah, hot toddy. How about that? Ah, Sue Sue Sparrow, you read my mind. I need somebody to make me a hot toddy. You guys are awesome. So I'm going to put this link in chat for you guys. Um, what is it today? Tuesday. This will be your Tuesday night um, fuckery. From J is for Justice. Scott H., have you heard these songs? Here's the link to my YouTube from earlier. Maligator loves this. She can't get enough of these songs. So there's the link to my um, stream from earlier. And then here is the link to Inspired Music by Tim Mullen. Apparently he does a lot of things, huh? He's got his hands and a lot of shit. A lot of shiz. Maligator, it's, it's, yeah, she put it all on her, um, her phone. Her favorite is the infidel, number one. But yeah, I mean, there's chicken hearted preacher. This is a good one. Oh, yeah. Sing it, Tim. Sing it, Jimmy. Sing it, Jimmy. I, it looks like there is a, uh, there's your banjos. They'd go hunting. I can't take it either. Hang on. Yikes. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Right, right? Okay, so draw. I am going to hook up with you soon. I'm going to um hit you back tonight. I have um some stuff I have to work on tonight. But um, you couldn't hear it? Oh, lucky you. Lucky you. You heard me singing, right? Yeah, who's going live next? <laughs> Actually, I have stuff to do. I have, um, I have some more stuff to bring you guys. So I've got to get to work. This is a story about an infidel, an infidel. I pick Andrew. Andrew, go live. 
I pick Andrew to go live, live, raw, live, live, no dollies. Thank you, forensic artist. Um, we are going to be going over to Andrew, right? Andrew Hiltz, you're up. You're it. You're it. You're it. You're it. I love you guys. And, oh, Scott H. is going live. Okay. Bye, Scott H. Email me back. I got to go do some stuff. Uh, maybe Andrew can come up tomorrow. Andrew, I'm probably going to do uh, coffee in the morning. So if you're up, join me if you'd like. All right, you guys, um, as long as I'm still breathing, we're still here. So that is good stuff. So I will see you guys soon. Don't ask me where that came from. Let's not talk about it. Let's pretend we, we didn't just hear that. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for the, the great comments on the videos. You guys have been really, really, really thinking outside of the box lately. And I love it. And find Summer. That's all. That's all we need to do. We need to find that little girl. I don't give a you and your problems i don't give a damn you talk way too much i have heard enough about you and your problems i don't give a damn So much and now 